Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and start doing a how to train your dragon. Well, this is part three, and this is where we're introduced to the Light Fairy. So I thought it'd be fun to draw the Light Fairy from How to Train Your Dragon 3, and we'll just go up through the other characters. I'm gonna brush up on another Toothless tutorial, and I've never drawn Astrid as a tutorial, so we should get to those characters. So first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my paper, and let's go ahead and draw her, but go ahead and lay out her entire body. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with her head, which is basically this oval. We have an oval and then we're going to start from the back of her head from her neck. Go underneath her head right here and then we're going to make her chest. And then we're going to bring out her back, circle in, and then go back into her chest. And you see I made this part fatter as opposed to this part over here. After that, we're going to go ahead and make a circle right here, and then a circle on the side right here. So we have one circle here on the front of her sternum, and then a circle right here. And then we're going to go down, and we're going to go down, circle up, and then we're going to go down from here, and then circle up. Then from back here, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring down this back leg over here, I'm going to circle up, and then one's going to be dragging right here. And then on the other side, I'm gonna go inside on her belly, make a circle here, and then make a circle on this side. So we're just rounding it off because they have like rounded off bottoms and fatter feet, if you know Toothless's shape. And then I'm gonna bring back her back. I'm gonna bring this down. All the way to the corner of my paper and then circle back making it skinnier and then her tail gets fatter and it should match up into her sternum now the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make a circle right here on her back and then I'm gonna make a line going from here And I'm going to go towards her leg, bring up this part, and then go right back into here. Then I'm going to jump over here, and I'm going to bring in this right wing. Even though she's a dragon, I'm still gonna give her her eye guideline and then her nose guideline. And this will be a three quarter turn where her nose is gonna line up. So I'm gonna start with this eye over here. So it's still the shape of a sunflower seed. It looks like a basic cat eye because that's basically what she's acting like. Toothless is more of a dog and then she's acting more like a cat. So I start with the sunflower seed angled at the side, bring down the side of her eye, and then circle back in and meet in the corner. And then for this one, I'm going to go out just a little bit of a distance, bring down, just go make a, like a bridge, and then I'm going to curve inward at the corner, and then they're going to meet, you're going to connect these a little taller then what I'm going to do where this nose line is I'm just going to make a little nostril here and then a little nostril right here okay. 
Now from where this line is right here, we're going to go on the side, bring it down, and then back up into her face. And then underneath that, right here, the thing is, the crease of her smile matches up with the side of her face. So we need to go underneath right here. Line it around the side. And then we stop right there and that's the bottom of her head. Now her eyes are really simple because they are bright blue and then her pupils are very similar to cats, how they have that kind of diamond shape in them. So we have one right there and we leave just a little bit of the corner open of her blue iris and then here's her pupil. We jump over here, right in the middle, we start making that diamond. And there's her other pupil. And we fill that in. I'm just gonna give a shine right here for her eye and then a shine right here. Fill that in. Next thing what we're going to do is so her nose goes like this, a little bit upwards, and her nose will go this way. And if you want to lightly shade her nose, you can go ahead and shade her nose. The thing about the Light Fury is with all her shading, she's blue, purple, and pink. And then what we're going to do alongside of her eye right here, we're going to give her a little bit of an eyelid on the side. Same over here, a little eyelid on top go ahead and clear up a lot of these guidelines. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and bring out her head just a little bit more, bring it down and circle back. So we're bringing it out to give her more of an eyebrow line and then circling back and closing that up. So I'm gonna bring around the top of her head again and go back into her neck. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump back here. Get one part here. This one part of our head. We're gonna give a little bit of distance. So we have a little gap right here. And then we have this one, which is curved back, back into her head. So curve inwards. So we're going to go, we're going to give a little bit of distance, curve this part here, and it's going to flow when it's back behind her head, and then we're going to go right here, give this little bit of a distance, curve this one in, circle around, and then curve it at the side, and we have another little part here, it's going to curve backwards. So they look like flower petals almost, and it's going to curve backwards, and it's going to connect to the side right here. I don't know exactly <laughs> what the anatomy definition of this is, but they are shaded in the back, and they're very similar to toothless. We can see a little bit of these lumpies on the side of these dragon ears, I believe, and they are shaded at the tips with a purple, so I'm just gonna lightly shade those in. And shade on the side too. You could actually just shade all around here, because these are definitely back, like she's, you know, any cat. <laughs> They're on alert, like what's going on? So then we're gonna jump down to her neck. So this is curved out and then back in and this one is curved going into her body now her belly she has a definite lavender blue belly going on and it actually 
you see it lightly with her skin when you color. There is a difference. I'm going to start underneath her chin, go underneath, and into her leg. And then this part of her belly as well goes at the side and then back in. So this is all a lavender hue on her belly. All right. We're gonna start on the side of the circle that we created at the beginning. We're gonna come around the side, go down. We're gonna keep this overall fatness of her leg. But I'm gonna jump on the other side now, make this a definite line. We're not gonna keep this circle line. We're just gonna bring this in, go out, bring out that fat area of her leg, and then curve inwards. And then her feet are really small compared to Toothless. So he has these little lumps, she does as well, these little lumps on for her claws. And we want to make these nice and flat. That's all they are. If they're little, little lumps, but this is the definite kind of look for the Night Fury, is the fatness of the legs that are towards the bottom. All right, we're gonna jump on this side. From this part of her leg, we have protruding from her chest. It goes in, keep the side, and then goes out. So we bring out the fatness of this part too. I just wanna call them all thighs. <laughs> so I'm gonna jump back into her sternum, bring out this part once again, and then go inwards. And then we see she has three, her three little toes on her foot. And it just goes one, two, and three. And then we go ahead and add our claws. So one, two, and three. And close off that foot. These are little black claws. So that's all that the paw that she has for a dragon, that's it. I know Toothless has fatter feet, but since she's more of a cat and she's a lady night fairy, she's got more delicate toes. All right. So let's jump to the back part of her feet. So let's start with this one first. So it's like the level of ground is going this way, how she's standing and one is dragging behind. So this one is flat on the ground. So I'm gonna start from this part, the back part of her leg. We're gonna define it, we're gonna go out, in, do a really sharp turn inwards and then bring out the fatness of that back leg, curve inward. Now I'm gonna jump on the other side Kind of bring this outwards and then start to go in, but we're gonna keep this one relatively fat because it is a hind leg, and then bring it in. And we're gonna close off the foot back there. So make that a little smoother. So we have this hind leg in the back going outwards. Make this nice and smooth transition. And then we have a toe here and then a toe here and a toe on the other side. So one claw is coming towards us and then one claw is coming out from this toe and then one claw is on the other side that we really can't see right there. Now she's dragging this foot just a little bit and it looks like she has four toes on her back leg and then three on the front legs, I'm not sure. <laughs> where we marked off her wing. I'm gonna bring down her thigh. We're gonna circle in for the thigh. And then we're gonna bring out the bottom part, curve it, and this one's gonna be curved up. So it's still fat on the side, but it's curved up like she's walking and she's dragging behind her claw, like her foot just a little bit, like she stopped in a mid-walking stance. 
and I'm gonna jump on this side, bring in this part of her thigh, round off that part, and then connect to this thigh. Now for these toes, we don't really get to see toes, but we're just gonna make an indention of that foot being dragged, and then we have one toe here, and then two toes right here put next to each other, and then another toe at the side. So we can color these in, just mark off where those toes are, and they're all very slightly connected together. So you can see the cat-like tendencies throughout her anatomy. All right. Let's take a look at her wing. So another thing that she has on her back leading up from her neck right here is instead of Toothless has these spikes on his back, she has a flowing line that's different from her back. So he goes up and then down into her tail. It's along her spine. So let's look at her wings. Let's start at this one from this part. So this muscle of her wing from goes from her neck, goes inwards, and then bring it down. And then you're gonna curve it and go start going into the wing. I'm gonna clear up a couple of these guidelines down in her sternum just a bit so we're not confused. So we still have this circle right here. So this part is like a huge muscle that's going into her, her actual wing. And this one is just tucked in right here. So we have this muscle here, and then this muscle going in. Bring this out, make it come to a point. And we're gonna start curving it inwards, and make it nice and spiky like it's folded up, and then go back into the overall mass and connect with this one. So we have the muscle going into this part of the wing, and then this part, and then we divide the wingspan. going into her folded wing. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna raise some guidelines so we can take a better look at that. So you wanna think of her folded wing as like an umbrella. So we have all these folds, it's folded in. We have the muscle area. It curves in and it's resting on top of each other. And it's actually one, two, three going up and it's all folded in and it all comes to a meeting point at the top. So this area up here is open but the lines of her folded wings go towards the end and there's definitely about four of them. So this is like, this needs to be open. I know it's confusing, a lot of dragon anatomy is super confusing. But you see, it's kind of like a maze where you go in, out, and then that way. And then it go, you curve it in, and then make it nice around at the end, because it's all folded up. And if you want to give a little bit more shading down here. And then on this side for her wing, go out, curve, and in. And then we have this muscle that's folded up like over on this side. We have this muscle here, curved in, and then more wing texture going in because it's folded in on the other side of her body. All right, let's take a look at her tail. Now the thing about her tail is we have this part that's connected to this one. It goes down and back into her tail. And it's basically almost like a mermaid fin. So you want to make that mermaid fin going into her tail. And this side is good. I'm going to run out of space, so I'm going to curve up her tail. 
because she has something that Toothless doesn't, and that's her, that's the two-sided part of her tail. So I'm gonna curve it. Now the difference between hers and Toothless is it's a little bit more rounded instead of spiky. So we're gonna pretend we're gonna make a mermaid tail. Leave the pointed end. So we make a little flat there. And then we're gonna jump over here and go out. And I'm gonna just make it pretend like it's disappearing on the other side of her tail. And I'm gonna go out and go back in. Leave this pointed area. And then what I'm going to do is bring out the sections. One, two, three, and four. And it goes one, Now the thing about this is we do want to keep it nice and rounded. So we have these spikes like toothless and we can actually make them a little bit thicker. And we just round them off. But we will make the spikes in between thicker coming from her tail. But they're nice and rounded. So they're not jagged and like going in and out compared to Toothless's. Because his is more like that. It looks like a Spider Man web. But this is hers. So this part of her back is good to go. So we just leave it like it's going straight down into this back of her body. And then we have this part going in. And so the muscle of the wing. So this is her back and then this is her muscle wing so we want to keep that for sure and we can kind of see some shading around here where we had the original uh, circle and for her body underneath you just want to go ahead and make that line absolutely sure make it nice and dark here we go there is how to draw the light fairy from how to train your dragon part three i'm really excited this is by dreamworks I love these movies so much and I'm so excited that I'm glad that Toothless isn't the only one. Now they can make babies. <laughs> All the baby night fairies and light fairies. I'm really excited to see if they do show baby night fairy. I hope you will go and see How to Train Your Dragon. Leave in the comments down below who would you like to draw next. I think I might do Toothless next week just to go ahead and redo a brand new tutorial on Toothless since I have improved significantly from then, <laughs> from the first one I made. But yeah, I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye.